Hey there guys, welcome back to another episode. Today's episode, we're going to be doing in the loop, we're going to try hard, we're going to do half cash and then chimps in the same episode. Hopefully we can start off with, start off with half, half cash there today. Just a quick little heads up, I took this advice from someone else, his name is... His name is Hero Gaming on YouTube, so I'll get I'll put his link in the description just in case you do want to see who or what he is and what he does. He plays a lot of Bloons DD TD content, so that's why we've done that. Perfect. So we'll start off with half cash. So I think I think the th the funny thing about this is as well as um it's not something I'd normally do. So we have to start with one of these lot just over there. Perfect, and then we need to start running them through. I believe we're also supposed to purchase quick shots as well, if I remember correctly. And then I also remembered seeing, I think he lost 30 lives in these first six rounds or up to round seven. Yep, so we're going to lose some more lives just there, which is okay, it's okay. That's it. As long as we as long as we finish the map, I'm alright with losing as many lives as we need to. Alright, then at the end of this round, if we can hopefully turn off auto start, just because we're then we need to start doing what we're going to do next. All right, so the end of our six rounds, our end of our seven rounds, we've lost, we've lost all but, whoa, 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 we can't sell Quincy just yet. All right, end of round seven. Oh, okay, that's all right. That's not too bad. I mean, at this stage, we're going to lose a lot more hit points than he did. I mean, considering he was on 17, we'll be on, looks like we'll probably be on 65. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to play the game. All right, should we should be able to sell you there today, sir. Fantastic. And we can grab you just about there, which should be good news as well. And then if I remember correctly, we should now be able to turn auto star back on until around, I'm going to say it was around 39 or something like that. Oh no, we're going to lose another hit point. That's okay. That's not too bad. All right. So next of all, we're supposed to purchase one of these lot, but we're supposed to keep you just away from Quincy. Don't exactly understand how that works, but we're supposed to set you the strong just there, sir. And then next of all, we need to purchase as a ninja monkey. How this works as well, I don't know either, but... At this stage, I just want to complete. I just want to complete this map, right? That's that cannot be viewed as my issue, right? So let's hopefully just wait for this ninja monkey, and we can go from there. Damn, we're gonna lose another hit point. Ah, bollocks! Oh, we're gonna lose a lot more hit points. Damn it, lads! All right, perfect, and that should actually give us enough time to purchase one of these bad boys. Perfect. So we need to pop you there, and then if I remember correctly, we need to purchase ninja discipline. And then we're also going to need to purchase Seeking Shurikens. Alright, so there's Seeking Shurikens as well. And then we need to purchase Sharp Shurikens as well. Alright, so there's your Sharp Shurikens, which is beautiful. Alright, next of all, we've lost more than half our hit points, which is why this is getting kind of scary. But I guess we can't really comment on that just yet. The next of all, we're supposed to purchase Larger Potions. And then Acidic Mixture Dip as well. And then Berserker Brew as well. All right, so there's acidic mixture dip as well. All right, there's... Oh, wait, no, sorry, sorry, not yet, not yet. Cut this bit out. All right, there is your Berserker Brew. And then next of all, apparently we're supposed to grab Double Shot. But here's an, here's an interesting issue though now, right? So I don't exactly remember how this is supposed to work, but I, I think we're going to have enough time. So there's your Double Shot. And then hopefully we don't drop Cattle Drops just yet. Because the thing is, we also need $800 by round 39 so that we can upgrade Quincy into Quincy's level 8. So Quincy's level 8 will allow this extra MOA popping power. The uh, arrows of triple damage to MOA class balloons, which will be absolutely fantastic. Do we need? Nope. I was about to say, do we need to use Quincy ability there? And we do not. All right, perfect. If we could hopefully slow time down just there. Perfect. There's your Keltrop, sir, which is fantastic. And then we're also going to need eight hundred dollars. So I think well, I think we'll just keep saving up just in case it's less or more than eight hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we should have been able to upgrade Quincy at this stage. Okay, so we'll just need to stand by here. There's eight hundred dollars, and there comes the BFB or the Moab. Sorry, the Moab. Perfect. And as soon as Quincy starts firing, we can use Quincy's ability. All right, great work, lads. Great work, lads. And then we just need to clean up the rest of the map. There we go. So just two, just two, just two got through. That's all right. That's actually kind of fantastic because it actually allows us to build into this guy now as well. So this is not not exactly why this is interesting, but it's more or less why this does get interesting. So for some reason, the man also goes night vision goggles, and then the faster firing, which is, makes me a bit concerned for his peace of mind. So I think I think we'll stick with it. I think we'll grab Chapel Shot and this one. I'm not 100% sure why he does it like this, but I feel like I'm obviously using someone else's someone else's gameplay. So we may as well need another Quincy there. I'm using someone else's gameplay, so I guess we, there's no judgment here. 
All right, so there's a semi-automatic weaponry, which is fantastic. I mean, for the first time, it's actually looking like a pretty decent round. I mean, not, nothing's, getting, nothing's getting past my mouse, and then stuff got past my mouse straight away. <laughs> We're definitely going to need Quincy's help just here. Quincy, double time. There we go, Quincy. Great work, Quincy. Great cleanup. All right, so here comes another Moab, which is a little bit scary, but hopefully, as long as that man, the, as long as the alchemist can just keep shooting, I did not realize how much money we currently had. Could we get full auto rifle? There we go. Fantastic. The full auto rifle should help us out quite a lot. And then apparently next of all, we're supposed to start saving up for elite sniper in a half cash round. Those kind of numbers just do not add up at all. So, but unfortunately, that's exactly what we need to do at this stage. Actually, not just yet. Apparently, we're supposed to grab stronger stimulant as well. There is stronger stimulant, which should be perfect for one of these lot. And then we're also opposed to grab stronger acid and perishing potions as soon as we can. All right, there's perishing potions as well. And then as soon as we can grab balloon jitsu, we can grab balloon jitsu as well. All right, so there's balloon jitsu, which is beautiful as well. To be perfectly honest, I'm not 100% sure if there's anything else major we're going to need at this stage. Because uh, he, the man does say grab elite defender. But I kind of don't want to grab elite defender if that makes sense to anyone. I think it also makes sense to other people. I also don't want to lose the map either. So if that makes more sense to someone, I could understand how that could be remotely possible. All right, so next of all, hey, yo, here we go. Here's, here's Quincy's. Yeah, he'll, here's Quincy's interesting part. Quincy only need to pop them all. Right, Quincy. Oh, great work, Quincy. Great work. Right, so there's obviously the BFB, and I'm not too worried. I'm pretty sure this guy should pop it fully. I think at this stage, we could possibly start saving up for for a elite defender, considering this man just self-popped a BFB. So, not really too worried about the damage and the damage numbers coming through here at this stage. All right, looks like we're probably going to lose. We did not lose there. Great work, Quincy. If we could use some arrows there, fantastic. I don't know, the part that's making me kind of uncomfortable is like, I'm constantly having to just make sure that not, nothing's nothing's getting past, like, up here. I feel like as soon as I go through this way, that's when we should start getting worried along those lines, which makes sense, right? But the fact is, we still need about 6,000 6, 6, gold on a half cash round, which means we're, appro we're approaching this round, this round of 80 really quickly from here on out, and it's just kind of a bit nerve-wracking, you get me? So, yeah, a bit, a bit unfortunate. I mean, in all, in all consideration, we are approaching this. We still need about 2,000 coins in this half cash mode to get Elite Defender. But at this stage, this, this guy's absolutely been mauling through them. I mean, I'm not going to lie. This guy's been actually, actually doing his part really digitally. Digitally? Digitally? Digi? Digi? If Digi if is watching this, I'd just like to say thanks. Thanks for all the help on the Minecraft world, mate. Alright, so we are approaching this elite defender really quickly from here on out. If we set you strong just so you can start mauling through those bad boys. And then we sit back to first. There we go. That was not too bad. Perfect. And then elite defender should just be should just be around the corner. Just around the corner. Just there's elite defender. Fantastic. So this elite defender should absolutely maul through them at this stage. Considering um does does more damage to more class balloons, fires fires faster, further along balloons are along the track. Sounds absolutely great. Uh, can we get a Quincy double time? And some arrows because we're going to lose. We nearly, I swear we nearly lost. I swear we nearly lost. I swear we nearly just lost. I just had a bit of a oh my I just had a bit a couple of heart palpitations just there, not gonna lie, lads. Not gonna lie at all. Perfect. If we can hopefully pop one of these villages just about there. If we can bigger radius and jungle drums for some reason. Why do we need monkey business? Right, ten percent discount to all monkeys and upgrade to tier three or less purchase and radius of the village. Shouldn't shouldn't we have grabbed that earlier, something along them lines? I don't exactly know. What is going on here, gaming? But if, if we get, if we finish this, we finish the map. We'll, we'll take it as a massive win. All right, can we get another Quincy double time? Sorry, Quincy. Great work, lads. All right, so there was jungle drums. As soon as we can have primary training, we can have primary training as well. All right, so there's primary training. I guess technically we could say let's start saving up for primary mentoring, but I don't think that's going to make too much of a difference for us. All right, perfect. So with these last round, hopefully we can pop one of these lot just about there. Perfect, and then if we could hopefully grab sentry guns, fast enduring sprockets, oversize and pin, something along them lines, could be interesting. And we'll see you strong as well, just in case. I think we just need to watch, we just need to make sure that we are cleaning all these balloons up to the right stage, or at a minimum to the right stage. I think if we could also grab Roblocker, I'm gonna say, no, we do not, we do not need Roblocker. All right, there we go. So at this stage, we are approaching this round 80 real quick. So there is, we are in round 80, so we are in 80. And depend on how quickly these lot can pop each one of them. 
it's just going to depend on how how much we're going to need the assistance. So we've obviously still got Quincy double time. We obviously still we actually still have a lot of people in terms of double timing. All right, there we go. So I believe that means we have finished the entirety of half cash. We have fantastic. Thanks, I zero two five sniper monkey. Beautiful. All right, let us head over to the next map, which, as we already know, we can open up this bad boy. I swear we opened up like ten seconds ago. There's your daily reward. All right, there we go. So now we have to go in the loop, as you guys can obviously see. We've of course completed the all the maps except one more. So we unfortunately we still have the chimps mode to complete as well, which is essentially a hundred rounds, no monkey knowledge. Anything, something along those lines, which is, that's all right, that's all right. Okay, so we're going to start off with a Quincy. We'll pop Quincy more or less just about here. I'm actually going to pop Quincy more or less just about here. Yes, perfect. Just so, because so we can build, so we can build our massive maulers and stuff like that throughout the game, right? All right, so, and then hopefully we can grab ourselves one of these bad boys. Perfect, with one of them lot, we're probably just going to pop you just about theirs. Fantastic. Assuming we can give you long range and I believe enhance eyesight, we can give you both of those. That should actually increase your range just enough so you can shoot through here as well. All right, there's enhance eyesight as well. And then hopefully as soon as we can have quick shots and very quick shots, we can grab both of these lot as well. And then as soon as we grab a crossbow. So hopefully as soon as we got $880, we can upgrade both of these. All right, and there's your crossbow, which is fantastic. So that, I mean, that should actually help us a lot. That should at least help you a lot which is beautiful so hopefully at this stage we can start saving up to grab ourselves at the sharpshooter unless unless we run into some other issues because we've only got the one hit point right unless we run into other issues like as in stuff will get through then we well, then we'll obviously need to grab ourselves some more firepower in another area but hopefully at this stage we can start saving up for sharpshooter oh we're gonna lose oh goodness that was kind of scary all right so we are approaching the round where we can buy there's your sharpshooter fantastic so at this stage you can shoot over all these three Perfect. And then hopefully by us going down here and grabbing ourselves a little alchemist bad boy, which is something we obviously we're always going always going to need. We can pop you just about there, Mr. Alchemist. Just about just about north of these two. Perfect. Can we go a bit more left? There we go. See the strong we can grab larger potions, as soon as we can grab a acidic mixture dip, and then stronger acid and perishing potions. As soon as we can grab both of these, we'll grab both of these. Alright, there's our acidic mixture dip as well. And here is your perishing potions, which is fantastic. So at this stage, I'm not really too worried about. I'm pretty sure the yeah, I was gonna say even you should be able to pop them as well. I guess Quincy can't. Uh, no, Quincy technically can't. But this alchemist is the only reason we're able to finish this round. Maybe it's you empowering these lot to, to pop them. That's not gonna matter too much. There's your berserker brew, which is fantastic. And I just actually want to see. So have you increased your range at all? And uh, no, not yet. So how? When do we get to increase your range? Extra strong. I mean, assume it's probably when we get that extra strong stimulant. Or the, the strongest stimulant, the extra st strongest stimulants, and then that should actually allow us to hopefully pop you lot just like that. All right, then next of all, as soon as we can grab ourselves uh, a monkey village, I'm gonna say monkey village, but I don't think that's the one we need just yet. So hopefully, as soon as we can grab one of these lot, perfect, we can pop you just more or less just about there, sir. Fantastic. As soon as we can give you both of these upgrades with a triple lot of these lot, that should also help us out quite a lot. All right, so there's your semi-automatic firing, which should actually help us out quite a lot as well. And hopefully soon we can have the full auto rifle firing. We can have this upgrade as well. Oh, there goes the Moab, and the Moab is gone. Fantastic. Sorry, probably should have been more aware of that Moab incoming, but uh, I was just we've been playing with a bunch of Moabs earlier today, so I was just kind of not used to it, right? Which is kind of scary as well to say that out loud. All right, there's a full auto rifle, which is fantastic. And next of all, I guess we can hopefully start saving up for Elite Defender as well. Actually, before we start setting up for Elite Defender, hopefully if we can grab ourselves a monkey village. I think if we can hopefully pop you just north of everything here. I think we'll pop you just there. Let's see, I don't think you're going to be in this radius, but there's your bigger radius, which means you will be in this radius, which is fantastic. There's your grow blocker, and soon we can grab radar scan, we can grab radar scanner as well. And then soon we can grab jungle drums, we can grab jungle drums as well. All right, there's your jungle drums as well. So here's the next question. Do we grab Intelligence Monkey Bureau, which Bureau grants special balloon pop knowledge allowing nearby monkeys to pop all balloon types, or do we grab primary primary training? You know, that, that will be the bigger question at the end of the game. Um, in the, At this stage, we can say besides the point, at this stage, we're going to have to grab Stronger Stimulant just here, and I think that should increase your range just a little bit more, not just yet. But hopefully soon we've got Crossbow Master, which will be the thing we'll start saving up for right here, right now, 
just because I feel like there's something we're definitely going to need at some stage. And it's also going to allow you to cross, literally pop a half the map, which should be fantastic news there for us today. All right, so we just passed the halfway line between Sharpshooter and Crossbow Master, so we're about 13,000. At this stage, I'm not too worried about any major balloons getting through just yet. My finger has been steadily placed on the on the first key, just so in case we do need to use Quincy's double time, that we have access to it as soon as we may need it. At this stage, we, I feel like at this stage, we're sitting kind of nerve-wracking. Holy, that was kind of scary. <laughs> All right, so we're only about $400 more, which is beautiful, but at this stage, it honestly feels like you're playing half cash just because just how long some of these lot are taking to get get to us or how much how long it takes us to get money and stuff like that but at this stage not really too worried about doing stuff like this at this stage and um, if as soon as we i'm almost wanting to set one of these lots as strong i don't exactly know what the correct option in that kind of sense would be but i don't think it'll be setting these lots as strong i don't think that'll be the correct option oh wait we just faced the bfb and we didn't even notice which is kind of funny as well all right so hopefully soon we can elite defender we can have elite defender as well just down just with this path line over here Alright, so we are about a thousand dollars away from grabbing Elite Defender at this stage, literally, legitimately, because thanks to this Dark Monkey, nothing, Quincy's barely made any pops as of recently, which is, that's not too bad news. At this stage, I think everyone, I think everyone in the NAND would probably take it. Um, rapid, small range increase. So the small range increase on level 13 should also allow Quincy to pop down here as well, which should be fantastic. Oh, there's your Elite Defender, sorry, so I'm talking nonsense about Quincy and this Dark Monkey. So in that kind of sense, I mean... I don't. I genuinely do not know who's going to probably get most pops out of you two, but at this stage, I'm actually not going to lie. Feeling really good about this about this round this time. I'm not comfortable enough to purchase a bunch of monkey aces just yet because that's unfortunately what cost us last time. But at this stage, as soon as we grab monkey intelligence bureau, we can grab this one. All right, there's your monkey intelligence bureau. And then actually, from here on out, I don't actually know if there's anything else major we're going to need, like I'm going to have to grab. And uh, to be perfectly honest, there's obviously not too many cross mappers, which is kind of interesting as well. I do think we should probably grab us as one of these lot, but I just don't, just do not think they're ultimately going to be required. At this stage, I genuinely think the only thing we can really provide for these lot will be more assistance. And to be fair, more assistance is also going to be an inter interesting shout. Um, as well as that, I'm also thinking if we could grab ourselves one of these glue gunners, the thing with these glue gunners is they can't shoot camos. So I think in that kind of sense, it could be a bit of an issue. But we could grab ourselves an Ice Monkey, one of these, which we've not technically even got this Icicle and Pale just yet. So, I mean, at this stage, at this stage, we're just making money because I, I can't really see anything else we want to spend it on. I feel like this actually gives us a perfect, perfect excuse to grab one of these lot. The grabbing one of these lot could get kind of interesting, but there we'll grab fast production, even fast production. And then we'll grab bigger stacks, wild spike, spike balls, and soon we'll grab spike mines. We can have spike mines as well. Oh, right, there's your spike mines as well. I mean, to be perfectly honest, I feel like if we can hopefully no wrong one, wrong one. I feel like if we can hopefully clear clear the the spikes. I mean, of these of the the baddies. If is there a weak option? I kind of wish there was a weak option. I don't think there's a weak option at all. Yeah, that's, that does not appear to be a weak option at all. So hopefully we go thorn storm part of our through the jungle as soon as we grab jungle's bounty we grab jungle's bounty just because it's also going to help us call in a couple more vines so that's why that'll get more or less interesting because at this stage this stage it actually allows us to set you to strong or something along them lines which is also why this gets interesting really quickly because you set to strong should actually allow you to do majority of the clearing the, the front of the line clearing we'll upgrade you into those as well but at this stage i'm actually getting more and more nervous so maybe we should back to first I feel like we set you back to first. I feel like that's just going to be a much better shout for us, Ed, today. All right, if we can grab one of these bad boys as well, we can pop you more or less just about there as well. Uh, I think so you've been given um, Perma Brew as well. Yeah, perfect. That's right. As soon as we can grab these two, so we're going to grab you like that, and then we're going to grab you through this way. I think if we can hopefully move your, your fire thing just about there, and then as soon as we grab Arcane Spike, there is Arcane Spike. There we go. Fantastic, so hopefully anything running into there should obviously die as well. That's also good news for us there today. I mean, at this stage, if we can hopefully start saving up our Arc Mage or something along them lines for the Spirit of the Forest and stuff like that. So hopefully we can start saving up for those two upgrades as well. I mean, the only the only of the zero, zero 005, which we won't be able to purchase, is going to 65,000. And this one, which is 135,000. I do not think we're going to have to worry about that at this stage. Also considering there's not enough time left in the game to make that kind of money. So that is another reason why that's somewhat unfortunate. I mean, at this stage, we're about halfway, about halfway there to grabbing the Arc Mage. But I mean, 
I mean, I just I don't know if we're going to get there at this stage just yet. Hopefully Quincy wouldn't mind mauling through these bad boys. I almost feel like we need to use a Quincy double time, but look at look at these lot. They just look at them work. They're so tremendously strong, all of them. All right, so it looks like normally it's around about round 96 where we normally fail. So there's also the Arc Mage, which is fantastic as well. Like they were able to purchase an Arc Mage here as well, and they can technically pop all these balloons. But these Black Critters, the ones who um, stopped us from completing the game last time, were the big issues. I don't think we have to worry about them this time around, which is actually going to be kind of fantastic. I just want to see, yeah, so this Dark Monkey will arguably get the most the most pops. But then as well, with that, it's, and round 96 is normally the one where we lose. So as soon as we get right through round 96, which I do not think is going to be too far off, I mean, we may as well use a Quincy Double Time. We won't, though, just because I know I know we've obviously made it through one of these rounds before, so that's all right. But there we go. So um, this guy's also not... Oh, he has actually made a couple of pops. That's kind of scary. I don't even realize he made a couple of pops. The question is, do you think it was the pops that ran through, like, with these balloons? Or do you think there's blue pops he made here? But 372 pops is not enough to worry at this stage. Considering I also did not notice about those pops. So we only have one alive. Which also was kind of nervous. Not nervous, but nerve-wracking. Alright, I feel like here's probably a good time to Quincy double time. I just I just feel like that's probably going to be a good time to Quincy double time. Yeah, so you've, you've just hit a couple more. So you just hit about a thousand, about a thousand more. That's all right, as long as you all realize you're all doing a job. I think, yeah, good, good mauling, good mauling, you lot. All right, perfect, so here is the, here is the B-A-double-D. Perfect, as soon as Quincy's there, there's Quincy, may as well use it. Fantastic, great work, Quincy. I want to say as soon as you pop, we can use some arrows on you. I think that'll help us out quite a lot. And as soon as you lot all pop, we can use some more arrows. There we go, we did it. Insta monkey, zero, 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 beast handler, worst one in the game. There we go, victory, we did it. 716,000 for our Dart Monkey. 300 cash at Roonies, which is fantastic as well. Just want to see. There we go. We just blackboarded another another map, which is fantastic. So that means we got Monkey Meadow and In The Loop both blackboarded. All right, beautiful. Just like to thank everyone so much for tuning in today's episode. Beautiful. Cheers and bye-bye.